Let's start with that then. What are booking volumes looking like for TRIP ahead of the Lunar New Year? Uh, well, uh, domestic travel is recently affected uh, by the small pockets of outbreak in the northern China, as you know. So it's currently at probably 50% of the pre-COVID level. Of course, the international travel is completely um, uh, not there. Uh, and uh, our non-Chinese business is also in a very uh, at a very low level. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the travel sector here in China had started to pick up and, and quite impressively uh, towards the end of last year. Then you had these additional restrictions put in, some would say for very good reason. Do you have any clarity on when the market here will start to improve in the domestic market? Yeah, it was uh, actually recovering very well into the second half of last year. And uh, last year, you know, this time of the year, last year was actually very bad, or actually it's lowest point probably. And then into the spring and summer, it quickly started to recover. Uh, and we hopefully seeing the same pattern this year. So spring press festival, we are slowly seeing some good signs. Uh, of course, there's a lot of cancellation in the last few weeks because of the small pockets of outbreak in Northern China. But as the situation getting better, uh, get in the northern China and uh, some uh, uh, scare of uh, outbreak in the southern China I think actually uh, went away, especially in Shanghai. It was actually um, uh, very, very well controlled. Uh, so uh, we are seeing people are more optimistic about uh, the spring and the summer recovery now. And uh, James, David here, are there any specific changes that you're looking or you might make if, if the situation does not improve? Well, throughout the year, we have made some adjustments. So we um, first uh, to focus on local travel or, you know, weekend travel, short distance travel, and we'll continue to do that. Hmm. So for this spring festival, we offer a lot of, uh, you know, short um, uh, distance um, nearby hotels around the you know key major cities, two or three day hotel packages or staycation within the city, and we're also offering a lot of deals uh, through our. Uh, we had a new uh, uh, a channel uh, on our app and on our website. So the deals, uh, special staycation deals channel. Uh, APP, and there's a lot of steep discount packages, and people will find it very attractive. You know, in the normal years, you wouldn't be able to afford uh, this kind of high-end hotels. At a, you know, five-star hotels offer the three, right. four-star prices. Uh, those are um, very right. attractive for our users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, the with a free breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. Uh, the, the, the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Right. I, I was actually going to ask, you know what people are also looking forward to, James? Are they going to be able to trade your stock in Hong Kong? At some point, do I get your listing here in the city? Oh, are you in Hong <laughs> Kong now? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, Hong Kong listing is definitely a lot of uh, uh, internet companies in China has been uh, doing that. And we are obviously interested. And that will broaden our investment base and also, uh, you know, give us more resource, financial resource to expand uh, internationally in the future.